everybody! So today we're doing this look. It's really, really extra with the glitter and the bold lips and it's a lot but if you follow the steps you can do it too. It's something that you do for fun. You don't have to wear it out. So I just used the Modern Renaissance palette and created this glitter cut crease. I have hooded eyes as you can you can kind of see that they kind of fold right there. So I'm never able to create a very good cut crease. So I'm so excited with how this turned out. I really, really hope you guys like this tutorial. I worked very hard on it. It took such a long time to do this. Like I said, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I recommend giving it a shot. It's really fun and it's just something completely different from your everyday look. So yeah. I hope you guys like it, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a few minutes. So to start off this look, I apply some tape next to my eyes. I know it's a little odd, but in the end, when you take it off, it creates such a smooth, perfect line, and it just looks pretty. Next I'm going to take the Maybelline concealer. I apply just a little bit to each eye to take away the darkness and prep for the eyeshadow. Then I use a Morphe Beauty sponge to blend it out. Now we're going into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to be taking Tempra and this is going to set the concealer and prep for the eyeshadow. Now we're going to take Bond Fresco and a small brush and we're going to map out where we want our cut crease to be. I decided that I want it to be pretty high because I have hooded eyes and if it wasn't high, it was going to just fold and it looks odd, so if you don't have hooded eyes, you can take it a lot lower. Then I go into Tempra and I use that color to blend out the purple from the Bon Fresco. Now we're going to take a fluffy brush and Venetian Red and I just applied that over top of Bon Fresco because I wanted it to be more pink and less purplish. Try not to take it too high. I took it way too high and I ended up having to fix it later. Now we're going to take the L'Oreal concealer. I'm oh, sorry, not L'Oreal, Maybelline. <laughs> I applied a little bit to my hand and I used a tiny little brush and this is to begin cutting out the cut crease. Like I said, I have to take it super high. So if you don't want to take it this high, you don't really have to. I just did it because it's the only way it works with my eyes. And take your time when doing this. Don't rush yourself because if you rush, it's going to be uneven and it's going to look funky. So take your time and make it as perfect as you possibly can. Now we're going to take Vermeer and I'm going to use Vermeer to set the concealer. Now we're going to take a tiny brush and Venetian Red and we're going to darken just the very edge of the cut crease. This is going to make it look more dramatic and it just looks a lot better. Now we're going to take another brush with no product on it and we're just going to blend it out a little bit so it just looks smoother. Then we're going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and Coastal Scents Glitter. I'm using a M250-1 brush and this is literally the only brush that I will use for glitter because it's so tiny and precise. You really really want to keep that glitter super duper duper close to the edge where the concealer and the eyeshadow meet because that's the only way that it's going to look right when it's finished. I applied the glitter primer first, then I went back and applied the glitter on top of it. This eye took a really, really long time to do because I had never used glitter before 
and I was trying to keep it super precise so I was trying to go super slow even though I sped up the video I was going super duper slow in real life so that I could just make it perfect because I'm a perfectionist now finally on to the other eye I decided to just go ahead and apply the glue all the way across then go back with the glitter and this actually helped make it go super fast Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Black Liquid Liner and I'm going to create the wing. This is optional. If you don't want to do eyeliner, you don't have to. You can just put the lashes on and it'll look good too. I just decided to do the eyeliner as well because I thought it was going to look cleaner and prettier. Now we're going to remove the tape and fix any imperfections there are. Then we're going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara and apply that to the lashes so that our lashes match up to the false lashes we will be applying. And the lashes we're going to be using are the Dodo Lashes in style 207. And if you remember from my last video, I explained how to put lashes on. Don't try to apply them perfectly in the beginning. Just set them down in the middle then drag them and place them where they need to be. It just helps out, it's a lot easier. Now I'm going to finish my foundation off camera, then I'll come back to finish up the eyes. Now we're gonna take Venetian Red, and we're going to apply that to the outer half of the lower lash line. Now we're going to take Bon Fresco and we're going to blend out the Venetian Red. Then we're going to take the Mad Lash Mascara by The Balm and we're going to do the lower lashes. Don't ever forget to do your lower lashes, it makes a huge difference. Now I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Posy K. but I actually ended up trading this out for the Starlux Cosmetics Matte Lip Paint. I just thought that the matte lip that was darker looked way better than the gloss. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you and I'll see you next time.